In this demo, I will illustrate how to simulate the computer's clock. As you see, the simulator's interface has a clock icon, but this icon is presently dimmed. And it is dimmed because the clock comes to play only when simulating sequential chips, also known as clocked chips. So let us open one such uh, chip. I'm going to my tools folder, built-in chips, and let me scroll and look for uh, a sequential chip, for example, bit.hdl. I'm loading this built-in chip. And as you see, several things happened. First of all, the clock icon became active. And also the name of the chip is bit and next to it, the simulator says clocked to let me know that this is a sequential chip. And also if I scroll the HDL definition of this chip, I see that indeed two of its inputs are connected or synchronized with the clock. Now, there are two ways to simulate the progression of time. I can do it either interactively or using a test script. Now, you will notice that each time I click this uh, clock uh, icon here, the time progresses from 2 to 2 plus to 3 to 3 plus to 4 to 4 plus to 5 to 5 plus and so on. That is because each cycle in the computer has two phases, which we call tick and talk. So presently we are in a talk and if I click it, we bring upon the next tick and then we bring upon the next talk and so on and so forth. Now, if I want, I can rewind the clock or uh, go complete cycles forward. And I can, I can do this if I hit this control here, the play. Each time I hit play, the computer goes into the next cycle. And if I want, I can uh, click this uh, fast forward, in which case the clock run on its own, so to speak. I can pause the clock by clicking this uh, stop button. And then if I later on want to continue to, uh, to move it using uh, uh, this icon, once again, I can do it in any pace that I desire. And once again, if I want, I can move uh, forward and uh, so on and so forth. So this was a demo of controlling the clock interactively. And let me now show you how I can do it under script control. So let me open uh, one of my scripts. In order to do it, I go to my projects folder and project three, in which I know that I have a few sequential chips like uh, for example, bit. So here's the test script of the bit chip and I load it. And as you see, the test script has batches of commands and inside these batches, I have commands like tick and talk. And each time I hit the play button, now the play button has a different context. The play button now controls the test script. And each time I hit it, I'm going to move to the next uh, uh, command following the next semicolon. So I executed the first four commands and now I will execute this batch. And as you see, the clock moved from zero to zero plus because I executed the tick command. And now I execute a talk command and the clock goes up to one another tick, one plus, another talk, two, another tick, two plus, another talk, three, and so on and so forth. So that is how the clock can be controlled under script control. And this is also the end of our demo. We showed that the hardware simulator has uh, a simulated clock and the operator of the simulator, this is you, can control this clock either interactively or using the tick and talk commands of our test scripting language, also known as TDL.